and welcome back so for this section we're going to talk about the AWS cloud adaption framework as you've learned so far in this module cloud computing offers many advantages over the traditional model however most organizations cloud adoption does not happen instantly technology is one thing but an organization also consists of people and processes and these three elements must all be in alignment for a successful cloud adoption cloud computing introduces a significant shift in how technology is obtained used and managed it also shifts how organizations budget and pay for technology services cloud adoption requires the fundamental changes that are discussed and considered across an entire organization it also requires that stakeholders across all organizations unit both within and outside IT support these changes. In this last section you learn about the AWS Cloud Adoption Framework which was created to help organizations design and travel an accelerated path to successful cloud adoption. Each organization's cloud adoption journey is unique. However, in order for any organization to successfully migrate its IT portfolio to the cloud, three elements must be in alignment. These three elements are people, process, and technology. Business and technology leaders in organization must understand the organization's current state, target state, and the transition that is needed to achieve the target state so they can get set goals and create processes for staff. The AWS Cloud Adoption Framework provides guidance and best practices to help organizations identify gaps in skills and processes. It also helps organizations build a comprehensive approach to cloud computing both across the organization and throughout the IT life cycle to accelerate successful cloud adoption. At the highest level, the AWS Cloud Adoption Framework organizes guidance into six areas of focus called the perspectives. Perspectives span people, processes, and technology. Each perspective consists of a set of capabilities which covers distinct responsibilities that are owned or managed by functionality related stakeholders. Capabilities within each perspective are used to identify which areas of an organization require attention. By identifying gaps, perspective, perspective work teams can be created that support a successful cloud journey. In general, the business, people, and governance perspective focus on businesses, capabilities, while the platform, security, and operations perspectives focus on technical capabilities. Stakeholders from business perspectives for example, the business managers, finance managers, and budget owners, and last we have the strategy stakeholders, can use the AWS Cloud Adoption Framework to create a strong business case for cloud adoption and prioritize cloud adoption initiatives. Stakeholders should ensure that an organization's businesses strategize and goals align with its IT strategies and goals. Stakeholders from people perspective, for example, the human resources, staffing, and people managers can use the AWS Cloud Adoption Framework to evaluate organizational structures and roles, new skills, and process requirements, and identify the gaps. Performing an anal analysis of needs and gaps can help prioritize training, staffing, and organizational changes to build an agile organization.
Next, we have the governance perspective. Stakeholders from the governance perspectives, uh, for, the, for example, the chief information officer or the CIO, program managers and enterprise architects, business analysts, and portfolio managers can use the AWS Cloud Adaption Framework to focus on skills and processes that are needed to align IT strategy and goals with business strategy and goals. This focus helps the organizations maximize the business value of its IT investment and minimize the business risks. Next, we have the platform perspective. For this one, stakeholders from the platform perspective, for example, chief technology officer or, or the CTO, IT manager and solutions architects use a variety of architectural dimensions and models to understand and communicate the nature of IT systems and their relationship. They must be able to describe the architecture of the target, target state, environment in detail. The AWS Cloud Adaption Framework in includes the principles and patterns for implementing new solutions on the cloud and for migrating on-premises workloads to the cloud. Next, we have the security perspective. Stakeholders from the security pers perspective, for example, the CISO or the Chief Information Security Officer, IT security managers and IT security analysts must ensure that the organizations meet the security objectives for visibility, auditability, control, and the agility. Security perspective stakeholders can use the AWS Cloud Adaption Framework to structure the selection and implementation of the security controls that meet the organization's needs. Next, we have the operations perspective. Stakeholders from the operations perspective, for example, the IT operations manager and IT support managers define how day-to-day, quarter-to-quarter, and year-to-year -year business is conducted. Stakeholders from the operations perspective align with and support the operations of the businesses. The AWS Cloud Adaption Framework helps these stakeholders define current operating procedures. It also helps them identify the process changes and training that are needed to implement successful cloud adoption. So we go now to the key takeaways for this section of the module. Cloud adoption is not instantaneous for most organizations and requires a thoughtful, deliberate strategy and alignment across the whole organization. The AWS Cloud Adaption Framework was created to help organizations develop efficient and effective plans for their cloud adoption journey. The AWS Cloud Adaption Framework also organizes guidance into six areas of focus called the perspectives. Perspectives consist of sets of business or technology capabilities that are the responsibility of key stakeholders. Module summary. In this summary, in this module, you've learned how to define different types of cloud computing models. Next, describe the six advantages of cloud computing. Recognize the main AWS service categories and core services. And lastly, we have the review the AWS Cloud Adoption Framework. Thanks for joining us here in Module 1. Next, we will discuss the Module 2 of the Cloud Practitioner course. See you there. Thank you.